Back like we never left. This is Alex from Double Move Sports, and you're watching the Fantasy Film Room. After a hiatus of breaking down game film with you guys, we are getting back into the truth of the tape, putting together takes based on analytics and game film to help you win fantasy football titles. For those of you who are new to the channel, the Fantasy Film Room started in 2019 where we would break down a player's film from one specific game and look at what their usage and ability can tell us about their rest of season outlook. Last year, we broke down Cortland Sutton, Mark Andrews, and Will Fuller, just to name a few. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more fantasy football content. Now let's get right into it. The tight end position usually sees a breakout player each and every year and that player can lead teams to championships by getting incredible value in fantasy football drafts. Think George Kittle, Mark Andrews, and Darren Waller over the past several seasons, just to name a few. Last year, we saw a mini breakout out of Tyler Higby, and he is one of the strongest candidates to vault himself to elite status in 2020. Tyler Higby is as high upside as you can get at the position, Finishing last season not only as the tight end 8 in full PPR formats, but as the tight end 1 from weeks 11 through 17. His current ADP is as tight end 7 in the 7th round, but if he continues to be featured in the offense like he was to close out the 2019 season, he could be a steal. Here are Tyler Higby's numbers over the final 6 games of the 2019 season. He saw a ridiculous 10 targets per game, turning those targets into eight receptions for 90 yards per week. He put up 19 fantasy points a game over this stretch and led plenty of teams to fantasy football championships. The biggest question surrounding Higby going into 2020 is why did he break out? Was it because of the increase in 12 personnel for the Rams? Was it due to Gerald Everett's injury or does Sean McVay just see talent in Higby within this Rams offense? While Everett was banged up during Higby's breakout stretch, McVay featured Higby in this offense in ways that we never saw from Gerald Everett. The first play we're going to look at here is out of the 12 personnel that we have heard so much about this offseason. This is one running back, two wide receivers, and two tight ends in the formation. And over the last five games of the 2019 season, the Rams used 12 personnel 34% of the time, up from just 14% over the first 11 games of the season. Here we see Higby lined up on the right side of the formation, and we'll see the middle linebacker bite on the play action fake. Higby runs a crossing route over the middle of the field, and the linebacker does not have the recovery speed to catch up to Tyler Higby. It's an easy completion for Jared Goff and a first down. Next, we're going to look at how McVay was able to feature Tyler Higby regardless of how many tight ends were on the field. This play came in week 16 against the 49ers, and the Rams roll out 11 personnel, which is one running back, one tight end, and three wide receivers. Higby is attached on the right side of the line and throws a quick block before peeling out for a tight end screen. Higby gets the easy completion with blockers ahead for a first down, using his yards after catch ability to get there. The Rams actually come back to the same play in the same game. Again, we see 11 personnel, and Higby chips the D end before turning around and catching a tight end screen. It's another easy first down for the Rams, and another example of Sean McVay facilitating touches for Tyler Higby in this offense. Next, we're going to look at a perfect example of Sean McVay's genius offensive mind. The Rams are in 11 personnel again here with Gurley split out to the right. Higby lines up at the bottom of the screen here, and the Cardinals are showing cover one man-to-man -man defense. The Rams are going to run a switch concept on the left side of the formation, freeing up Higby across the middle of the field. They bring all three players on the right of the formation on slant routes, and that essentially works as a mega screen to get Higby out in open space. When Higby catches this pass, look at how much room he has to run. There is not a single Cardinal defender beyond the right hash mark. Sean McVay called plays time and time again to feature Tyler Higby and get him in open space. 
I do not expect that to change as we move into 2020, especially with playmakers Brandon Cooks and Todd Gurley out of LA. Tyler Higby has massive opportunity in 2020, and not only should he be targeted early and often, but he should also see positive regression in the touchdown category. Higby was fourth in the NFL last season in red zone receptions with 14, but only scored on three of them. As a focal point in this offense, he should maintain his 28% target share in the red zone and provide much more touchdown upside on top of his volume that he's going to see in 2020. If you are looking for this year's league winner at the tight end position, look no further than Tyler Higby. Thanks again for watching. If you like the show, please hit that subscribe button. That is huge for us. A like is always appreciated as well if you really did enjoy this film breakdown. If you have any start sit questions, draft questions, dynasty questions, or want trade advice, drop it in the comments down below or hit us up on Twitter. And also be sure to let us know who you want to see us break down next. Again, this is Alex from Double Move Sports, and we'll see you next time.